kind of evolve as she sees different attention before making pocket passes or just passes to role players as she, you know, I've seen her get closer to the sidelines, for example, to open up those angles. How have you already seen her evolve in those situations? Yeah. Um, we had a <clears throat> really good video session the other day when we got home and could rest a little bit. Um, just talking about advantages, like what she creates because of the, the advantage we get because of what she draws, right? So she's getting double teamed the minute she crosses out court, you know? So we've just been really trying to um, show them these different moments where like when she's in, in this position and this happens, like where the next pass is, you know, that's all timing with the post players on a roll or the feel from a guard. But she just puts us in three on two situations with how she draws the defender. So just showing her all those different options and also for our other players, understanding those advantages as well and where to be. Go second round one. Hi coach, Kyle Smedley at Nistar, nice to meet you. Hey Kyle, um, yeah, you're new, I haven't seen you. Yeah, before. first day here, so. Nice. Well, the practice today either, so I just want to ask about Christy Wallace. Um, I know she practiced yesterday. Is she good to go for tonight? Yeah, Christy Wallace is good to go tonight. Okay, and then I guess just looking back at the last game, you guys played against the Sparks, um, first and only win of the season so far. Pretty even box score. What do you feel like the key to beating them was, and how can you carry that over for tonight? Yeah, I think it was our defense. I think we, um, in the second half, came out with a little uh, different, you know, a, much, a better sense of urgency um, on that end of the floor, and that just really um, helped us get those stops, just helped us get out and get on the other end and make some things happen on the offensive end. And then last one for me is just seems like there's just a lot of support around the league, um, not only for, for Caitlin, but just for everybody. This seems like a very supportive and communal league. Um, I guess just from your perspective, is that something that's always been there with the W or has it grown as of late? And what makes that different from maybe other professional sports leagues? Yeah, I can't really speak on other, other professional sports leagues. Um, this is the only one I've been in. It's been really good to me. Uh, to the players in the league um, it's growing and it's grown and it's way more visible and we're all trying to figure it out as we go on this journey um, but you know we're all competitors so you know you know, probably won't be as nice to each other come you know when this ball goes up and the 40 minutes happens but yeah it's been really you know everyone's been real supportive of, of everything going on this season with us um, you know especially with our schedule you know I, I get a lot of comments from the other coaches in the league just you know wow man you know, they really set you up on this one, you know. So just to hear those those comments, people, they, they understand. Hey, Chrissy, um, what are the adjustments that you made since the last time playing the Sparks, if you've made any? Yeah, well, we've, um, you know, defensively, we, we were able to do things that we hadn't been able to do before. We just didn't feel comfortable not having practices. So we've been able to add some, some different schemes to our, our defensive tool bag. Um, offensively, you know, we've, um, that was a game that uh, Aaliyah Boston came out and played really well and just her getting that confidence now we're able to go and do some things differently with her as well. And then Timmy's just been such a spark plug for us um, after that game is when we made our change. So she's, you know, just to add those two different factors and how they're playing really helps. Did it, I know it happened a, a while back now, but did it feel kind of like a, a sigh of relief or a monkey off the back beating this team? And then how much does that give you confidence going into the night? Yeah, just getting that win, you know. Once you taste that win, it changes. It really wasn't, you know, great for us to have to roll up on a back-to-back -back after that win and play Las Vegas, the, the reigning champions. But, you know, just to get that win and just to build some confidence, is, it just really helps you. Um, you know, we've played the most games, the most games on the road, the least amount of rest. So we've just, you know, we're trying to grind it out and figure it out as we go. Uh, talking about, speaking about rest, uh, how do you try and balance minutes through a stretch like this to make sure that everybody's fresh and got good legs? And also, uh, how do you try and uh, help, especially the younger players like Caitlin, but not just Caitlin, improve when you don't have any practice time and really you're just relying on video yeah video and just in-game experience it's it's tough especially with such a young team um but yeah just trying to manage minutes i mean that's you know we've had to do that um <laughs> since we started with playing every other day so it's just you know it's just been a uh, trying to figure it out along the way i know that's a hard that's a terrible answer but i mean when you don't have any other way to do it but in the moment um you know it's other people stepping up to do things 
um, that they're not used to. You know, Erica Wheeler coming off the bench is something that she's had to get used to. Um, and then just trying to find ways to, to use timeouts and use, you know, quarter breaks to give them some, some extra rest as well. Yeah, kind of a two-parter uh, about Timmy. The first one is, do you plan to start her again tonight? Yeah, Timmy, Timmy will be our starter tonight. And um, I guess the second part is, I think, you know, after practice yesterday, Timmy was saying that she was a little ticked off after the Aces loss. So I was just kind of wondering if you, you know, were around her enough to add more about that. Yeah, Timmy's a, a fighter, man. She's a competitor. I mean, she, she wants to, she, we want to win every game. So, you know, we played three quarters Three and a half quarters, I thought pretty well, and then the fatigue set in on us, and that's just you know that's a frustration. But yeah, she was pissed. We were all pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Curious of your conversations with Aaliyah, how what she has thought of her own play this season and the progress she thinks she's made of herself in these first eight games. Yeah, she you know she she came out having to play the best some of the best players in the world at her position. So just her having an opportunity to to get some confidence, get some touches, uh, get her feel around the basket. Um, you know, I think she she found that in, in LA, and then it and, um, you know same same against. I thought she played extremely well against Vegas too. What's influenced the lineup changes? Is there something specific you're looking for? Is it team chemistry, and uh, what has gone into those different decisions, especially on the road trip? Yeah, I think probably just the defensive side of the ball is what I'm trying to. You know, we've got to get stops, and we've got that. You know, we've got to let our defense um, give us some offense. I mean, we've got to get stops and we got to get steals and we got to get deflections and we got to use that because of the way we play and our pace to be able to get out and get um, some things happening on the offensive end because of our defense. You got two on Zoom. Uh, Brad, you want to start? Don't go to DJ. Yes, I'm Coach James. This is Brad from WBB Nation and WNBA Swish. Exe Hall has had about 10 minutes her game, she came off the bench and had 18 minutes and 12 points against Las Vegas. How has her game been coming along and how can she impact the game tonight if she's uh, on call nine? If she's fine. If she's called on. Yeah. Yeah, Lexi um, has come in and, and what we've asked her to do, her roles for us, like she, we can count on her the minute her number is called. She comes in, she gives us you know, that spark on defense. Um, she's hit some threes with, the, you know, our, our players who were able to get down heel. She's had some wide open opportunities um, to knock some shots down. But she's just a spark off the bench for us, and you can count on that every night. We got DJ and so we can you, coach. with one more in the room. Sim coach, similar to your Indiana Fever team, the Los Angeles Sparks, they've had very strong performances despite their losses. What areas are you emphasizing to your team for preparation? Transition defense, that's that's the first one. And then finding their shooters, they're shooting the ball extremely well. So we've got to make sure that we um, don't allow them more than, you know, one opportunity to get a shot off. With those long shots usually tend to long, um, make for long rebounds. We can't, you know, just fly into the paint and try to, you know, we've got to be ready for those long rebounds. But transition defense, finding those shooters, and then just making them work and guard us for 24 seconds. You know, quick shots are easy to guard at times. We've got to make them guard us for that, that shot clock period. So one more for Kyle. Um, I know that you know, you've talked about how this is a young team, and that's no secret, but it's also a young team that's getting a lot of playing time, and it feels like that's a little bit rare. Um, how have you gone about putting trust in these young players who just continue to step up? Yeah, well, that's they continue to build that with us and, um, and the coaches, and, you know, they've uh, – they, they, come out every day, um, you know, when you've gotten beat and you have to, you know, you think you have to come out and motivate these guys. Like they've been unbelievable at coming and bouncing back. Um, you know, we talk about progress, uh, getting better, finding ways to show them how we've gotten better from, you know, game to game. And so, you know, hopefully they're buying into that, which I really believe they are. Um, we've just got to find a way. Um, it's a process, not only on the court, but it's a process as it relates to teamwork. And, um, Tommy with your team and that you know that's that's happening for us in games and so you know once we can get through these games maybe get a few practices that's going to help as well